What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. I'm Brendan. And we are JK, JK Builders. Builders. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, why the heck not? Also, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it helps us out a whole bunch, and it's always appreciated. Today, we're doing a review of a brand new set from Series 1 of the Brickling Designer Program. It is the Old Train Engine Shed. Jackson, tell us about the box. Well, it's 18 plus. The item number is 910033, and it is 2,331 pieces. Awesome. So, much like all of the other Brickling Designer sets, this is the same old story. It is created by Lego. Um, it has a very similar box with a plain white background. They don't go out of their way to make these two crazy. It just shows the front here. On the back, it shows you the back of the set as well as how the roof gets removed. Um, nothing too fancy. Again, these are sets that we voted on like uh, a year ago originally and then once they revealed the top five we were able to do the crowdfunding about six months ago and they just barely a couple weeks ago showed up on our doorstep so if you wanted these you had to purchase them like six months ago the only way to get them now is on the secondary market or through like places like ebay or facebook marketplace um, but they are available out there and they're not as expensive as they have been in the past the price hasn't went crazy um but anyway let's uh Open this up and check it out. Just like the other Brickling Designer Program sets, it does not come with instruction books. It just comes up with one of these that tells you who the designer is. Um, so yeah, there's no instruction books, so you have to use the app, which again, I'm not a fan of. Jackson loves it. Some people really like it, but I'd rather have paper instructions. So anyway, that is what you get as far as instruction goes. Let's check out this awesome set. All right, so up close look of the train engine shed. Of course, we'll check out the minifigs first. Again, this is a Brickling Designer Program set, so they are kind of generic. You have this lady here, which I think works with the trains. She's got the walkie-talkie in her back pocket. She's kind of holding this light up. Um, has kind of a smirk on her face. Uh, again, kind of generic. Uh, you got this guy that probably lives here at the shed, I would imagine. He kind of looks like a lumberjack with a mustache. He's holding the turkey leg in a bucket. Uh, pretty cool. Then you got this guy. Uh, I guess this is a woman, uh, but she's wearing a baseball cap and some overalls. She's got a book in her hand. Uh, you got this guy who's kind of old fella with a bucket of water. Some overalls again. Uh, looks like he's hard to work on the trains, maybe. Uh, you got this guy, which is actually pretty cool. He's got like the, he's got the prosthetic leg, which I think is cool. He's got a cool uh, little vest on with some scissors and a ring. Looks like he's got an oxygen tank. Not sure what he's got going on, but pretty cool minifigure. And then you got this lady who is holding a lantern in her hand. It says Octane, so that would be the gas, I would believe. Uh, so I guess she's just a, another train worker as well. So pretty cool minifigures. It's cool that it comes with, what, six of them? And they're all, you know, a little bit different and unique, but they are kind of generic as well. Um, so, looking at this train station, there's a lot here. There's uh, so many details um, in this train engine shed um, to go over. So, we'll give you a 360 view here all the way around. Now, the building itself does look the same on both sides. It, it was kind of a mirror image of itself, so it did get a little bit repetitive. There are a lot of cool details thrown in though, of course. You have the train tracks here that go along the side, and then you also have the train tracks that go into the building. Um, we'll check out the outside first. Uh, you have this little cart here, which is like the kind of the push cart, um, which actually goes along the tracks, pretty cool. Um, you have this cart that just has some supplies, maybe some gas or something on it, some fuel. Um, and then you have the little bumper here. Oh, it did come with a dog as well, which we forgot to mention. Um, over here, you have like a gate that opens and closes. You have this nice little railing right here to kind of separate it from the building that will be uh, by its side. Of course, I failed to mention this is on our mills plate system. So you won't see any of this down here at the bottom when we get it into our city. Um, there are lots of cool little details like uh, foliage that's growing on the building, like the vines and plants, which I think really add to the look of it. A um, couple cool little lights here, lots of windows on the outside. I like how they do the bricks um, in the different colors. Kind of makes it look old and run down, like, 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 like it's an old solid brick train engine shed, which I think is cool. Over here you have this uh, little clock that every time you touch it, it falls off, which I was kind of annoyed by. Um, again, a nice little plant here. Uh, this looks like a, a filling station right here. I like this, how it has the uh, power pole with the bird on top, a couple of... Uh, you know, transistors or whatever those are um, on the power pole. I think it gives it a very unique look. Um, the doors, I think, were very cool. The building um, techniques used to build these doors was actually was actually very unique. I, I've never seen anything like it. 
Um, they used these garage door pieces, and then there were some different techniques to get the look of those just right. But um, coming around here, you have some boxes of supplies and all kinds of stuff. The roof line is very cool. Um, how they got the slopes. Now, one thing is the roof doesn't really go on super well. I did break it a few times trying to put it on, but overall, I think it looks good as a finished product. Um, you have a little space here where it's like where someone could live at the train engine shed. Um, it is a very small space though. Has a little chimney coming off the side. Of course, another light, little garbage can, and a little like uh, pathway leading up to it, like cobblestone. Um, here you have a downspout for the rain gutter system, little puddle of water there at the bottom which I thought was cool. So yeah, I just saw kinds of cool little details and features on this, and I think it looks really nice. Uh, very unique. Uh, now if we open it up, first we'll check out this little space. So like I said, this is like a living quarters. Um, we're in here, you have a little uh, cabinet, a little uh, fireplace, where I'd assume it's like a wood-burning fireplace to keep you warm. Uh, and then there's a desk with a telephone and a lamp and a clock. Um, not too much, I mean, there's no bed. They're probably not gonna live in there. It's more like an office, I guess, but uh, Nice little space. It is very small, though. Very, very small. But still pretty cool. I also like the outside, how they made it look like it was made out of wood planks. Thought that looked, looked pretty fun. Um, if we open up the train engine shed itself, the top just pops off like this. So you can see. Um, again, it is a little bit flimsy, and I did break it a couple of times trying to get it on the first time, but after that, I kind of got the hang of it. On the inside, it does have this little uh, hoist right here that rolls back and forth. Now, this is going to be to... Uh, lift things out of the train or to move the train cars themselves and there's just all kinds of stuff in here that you see in a train station or a train engine shed uh, lots of tools there's a drill press there's uh, whatever that machine is i'm not really sure there's a fire extinguisher some cleaning supplies some brooms uh, there's a little tool chest right there with some more tools on the wall there's some helmets over there just all kinds of stuff there's a box um, a lantern and again, you can open up these doors. Which, and again, you can open up these doors so that the train can come in and out easily. Now, I do think you will need a smaller train. I don't know if every train is going to fit in this, but we'll definitely find one that will fit when we decide to use it. So yeah, that is pretty much it as far as the details go. Um, I think it looks really cool. It's a lot of fun, lots of playability here, lots of cool features that you can integrate into a city and also use for you know playable functions. Um, with your different train sets as well as within your city. I can't wait to get it down into our city and see how it looks. Of course, we're gonna have to expand our city and add a train, um, and we intend to do that here very soon. But overall, I think it's a cool set. Lots of detail and uh, lots of fun. All right, so the old train engine shed. Brinley, what's something you like about this one? Um, I like how like all the pretty plants are like growing out of it. There are a lot of plants growing on the building. That's a good one, Brinley. And I think they're all weeds. They could be. I think they're like vines and plants, but yeah, that, yeah. Uh, I, I kind of like that about it. I think it gives it a, a unique look. Jackson, what's something you like about it? Um, so I, mean, I just like like all the detail, like adding on to what Brinley said. I just like love how detailed it is, and like it, it it's just really like it looks like a brick building, and it's just really cool. Cool. Is there anything you guys don't like about it, Brinley? What's up? Um, I don't like how it's. Hard to like pull on the roof. The roof is kind of a pain. I broke it a few times trying to take it off and on. And it's not centered. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, I got it on crooked. You're right. There you go. Ooh, that's all right. Jackson, anything you don't like about it? Um, something that I don't really like about it is how you have to like build onto the track. So like it doesn't come with some. Like if you want a like a train in your city, then you would have to get all these pieces and I don't know if they like if... Well, I think that these will line up with the actual train tracks that Lego sells. The only problem is they're higher. So we would have to build it up, you know, one, two, three levels in order for it to match up. But I know what you're saying. Obviously, we don't currently have a train in our city right now. We would love to do one in our future uh, city layout. Um, obviously, we're going to do that. The Bricklink Designer Program has been really big on their trains and really big on their train stations as well. So we have this one, I think it's Series 3. We have the Brick Cross train station, um, which we intend to buy. Is that Series 2 or 3? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that one's really cool. We intend to buy that one as well. So we're definitely going to need to put some trains in our city in the future. That's more of a train station. This is like a train shed where you'd store the train, not necessarily like have a station where people go and buy tickets to ride the train. 
Um, so I think you could use both in the city. And then, of course, you have the train station that came out um, a couple of years ago as well through the BrickLink Designer Program. Um, like, I think this is, like, more of, like, a thing that fixes, like, trains. Yeah, yeah. It could be, like, where you park the train, they fix them up, they clean them, they get them ready to uh, go on their next journey. Yeah, I think my biggest complaints are, number one, the uh, living quarters is very, very small, very compact right here. Um, it's actually a much larger set than I thought it was going to be. I expected this to be on like one base plate or one and a half. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be on two, but two base plates is, is huge. Um, we're going to need a special place in this for the city that lines up with the train tracks. Uh, but overall, I'm very impressed with it. I think it, it went together really well. Other than the roof is kind of a, a little bit fiddly, but um, overall, I think it's a great set. Now, this one uh, sold for $230 through BrickLink. Um, for that price, I think it's a steal. 2,331 pieces, a uh, handful of minifigures. I think it's a pretty, a pretty decent price. Um, I checked eBay and it's going for around $300. So if you want this one now, you're going to pay somewhere around $300. And I think the price is just going to go up with time. Uh, so if you want it, it's probably worth that amount if you really need a train engine uh, shed in your city. Um, I think this is a good one. It looks cool. I think it's going to look great in the city. Can't wait to get it down there and get our Lego city rearranged and rebuilt. Um, get some trains in there so we can see how this set looks. All right, so there it is, the old train engine shed from series one of the Brickling Designer program. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep, keep on building. building.